Hey guys, we are back for another video. Make sure you guys hit that notification bell so you are notified when we do upload videos, okay? You don't want to miss out, so make sure you guys got that notification enabled um, so you know when we upload. Also, if you guys like to comment, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Let me know what y'all think um, by hitting the thumbs up, okay? And also, and you guys are really good about this, if you like the content, please go ahead and um, let me know also what y'all think in the comments. So we have talked about Erica Mena a lot um, on this channel. And as long as the news continues to come out, we are going to continue to talk about it uh, because that's what we do. That's what this channel is about. News, celebrity news, breaking news, all of that. So we talk about all of that. So we have some information that we would like to share um, with you guys with regards to Erica Mena. Of course, we know because we've reported it. She has not came out and said nothing. She's been mute. Um, we know that she's been fired from two jobs, um, although Love & Hip Hop stated that she won't be on the next season. So I don't know if that means she's going to come back the following season. But what we do know is that she has been fired from all Black Network. Um, she will not be returning to that show called The Hush. And I'm not sure if you guys had the opportunity to check out the show. I have never watched it, so I cannot comment on it. Never heard of it. But um, she will not be moving forward with them. As I've already reported, go ahead um, and check out that video. I have that already on my YouTube. And I believe it says Erica Mena um, fired or something to that nature. Go read. Go listen, I'm sorry, to that video. But for the purposes of this video, we're going to get into what was recently released and what Erica Mena had to say um, with regards to um, what happened with her calling um, Spice those, um, you know, that racial slur that she stated. So let's get into our copyright disclaimer here. Um, the copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976 um, simply states allowance is made for fair use purposes such as criticism comment news reporting scholarship and research which is exactly what we are doing so it just simply states that you can use other information that is online um, basically as long as it's not copyrighted um, information you are allowed to use so let's get into this brief snippet i always have to watch it whenever i'm talking about this particular subject because it reminds me of the hate and the vengeance that was in Erica's voice when she made that statement that she made um, against Spice in that heated moment. So let's just jump into that. I think it's about 11 seconds or so, um, or maybe even less. And then we're going to get back um, to the commentary and then we'll talk about what Erica had to say uh, with regards to her actions. Hey, you bitch! You monkey! You blue monkey! Yes, I hate you, bitch! You monkey! You blue monkey! Okay, guys, so every time I hear that, it makes me cringe, but I play it because it's, it keeps it fresh into my mind exactly how enraged and how hateful that sounded coming out of her mouth. Um, so I always have to listen to it because it puts me back into that mind frame. Again, we've saw and heard that a lot. So let's jump into what Erica Mena is saying. And what I want you guys to understand is <laughs> Erica is losing jobs. Every YouTuber, I shouldn't say every YouTuber, but you guys get what I'm saying. YouTubers are letting her have it online. She is on public display of humiliation and then if you google what she's worth it's only a million dollars which means she don't have a lot of money a million dollars is not a lot of money especially when you want to live this lavish lifestyle and you don't have a job so um erica mena has come out with a statement um and i'm gonna read it to you guys because that's what we do on this channel right so this is what Erica Mena um, states. It looks like she released a statement to TMZ. Okay, and this is what she stated. I had to like digress a little because it's, 
It's just crazy. <laughs> I deeply regret my insensitive comment and want to humbly apologize to anybody I hurt or offended by my thoughtlessness. My choice of words was wrong and I take full responsibility for what I said. I am committed to listening to the voices of those affected and will work toward my making amends. As a woman of color <laughs> and the mother of two black children, I want to make it clear that my use of that word was not in any way racially driven. That said, I do understand the gravity of what I said and want to use my plant my platform to promote inclusivity and equality. So this is where I have an issue with that statement. And I get it. We all make mistakes. But let me go back to the statement because this is what she said. I, I need to reference this. She considers, so I don't know if now she's saying she consider herself a woman of color. Because if in fact she considers herself as a woman of color and myself being a woman of color, when I get into it with people, black people, or well, we're just going to talk about black people. I'm not calling them monkeys. That's like something that'll probably never come out of my mouth. Monkey and a gorilla. And this is the thing. This is where the problem comes. This has not been her first time doing this. This has not been her second time doing this. This has not been her third or fourth time doing this. Erica has countless events where she has called black people monkeys. And let me tell you guys what I did because there's a lot of people that come to my channel in support of Erica Mena. Now you can be in support of Erica Mena if you like, but the fact that you consistently call people black monkeys and gorillas, and the reason why I keep saying gorilla, because I had the opportunity to reach out to someone who had also shared that she had called them a gorilla and a monkey, and he has the inbox messages to prove it. I did an interview with him, and I'm going to be dropping that interview because I need you guys to understand that this is serious. So for a lady to consider herself a woman of color is how she's describing herself today in this um, statement that she released to TMZ. Um, so she states that when she used the word that it wasn't basically to be taken in that light. Again, I don't understand how a person should take this because you say you consider yourself a woman of color, but then you're a very light skinned woman, which does not mean that you're not a woman of color, but your continual use to call people monkeys and gorillas and all of these racially insensitive names is making me think a little bit different. See, this is how it goes. People can say what they want, but we actually judge people by their actions. Now, had this been her first time saying it, I'd be like, okay, she probably was, you know, wasn't thinking and was angry and just said whatever came to her mind but you cannot basically come out with a statement that basically this is damage control this girl is losing jobs she's being fired this is not a sincere statement this is her publicist saying girl listen you need to get this statement out but it's a watered down statement and it's BS because she released it directly to TMZ. Um, they're saying that there is no um, proof that she's even apologized to Spice. You have to understand the outrage came um, as what you said to Spice and we all felt that. Um, so I'm sorry, I don't believe Erica. Again, I've done my own research and I will be dropping an interview where Erica specifically said very racially insensitive things to two other people. Um, so 
That is not even including the people that Spice highlighted when she went on her live and said, okay, well, why did Erica say this to this person? We also know that she said this similar thing to another reality star. So the fact that this is her pattern when she becomes upset is to call people black monkeys and gorillas. I think her statement and her apology tour is a bunch of S-H-I-T and I'm not accepting it. And again, guys, I'm going to be dropping my interview um, where I have more proof that this girl is something other than what she is proclaiming to be. Because let me make sure you understand, I am a black female. When I get upset with white people, I'm not saying you white this or you that. That's just not something that I'm saying. So if this is repeatedly what you say to a specific class of people, whenever you get upset, it's telling a very different story. So I don't go by what people say. I go by what they do. So I think her statement is a damage control statement and she's doing what she needs to do because she will be broke really soon. She's only valued at a million dollars, which again, after they take out taxes, what are you really left with? 500,000? This girl needs money. So she's doing whatever it, she needs to do to save face. And I don't believe we should accept it. And I think we should send her back to the networks that support her because as a black person, we don't support her, nor do we want to do business with her because it's very interesting for her to remain in black spaces, to collect black dollars, but yet call people, black people, monkeys and gorillas. So as always, let me know what y'all think in the comments and let me know, do y'all want me to drop that video this week, next week, this weekend? Let me know what y'all think. Again, I've done the research because I want you guys to understand I'm not coming on here with just bogus information. If there is somebody that I can reach out to, if there is a video or anything, I want to be able to showcase that here so y'all can know that this is the real deal. Okay, so let me know what y'all think in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Talk to you later.